Hello everyone, welcome to Concept Sira. Today we are going to discuss another caselet based upon percentages. So it's a new series. In this series, we will discuss close to seven to eight caselets based upon percentage series to make sure that you are having all the arsenals to crack these kind of caselets in paper. This one is a very common caselet. If these kind of the cases do appear in a paper, and if you are part of Concept Sira, then you will feel these kind of the cases can be solved in Jiffy. So let's look at how we can approach this particular case state. But as usual, I request you, please try out this particular case state on your own. And then we'll have a proper discussion over this particular case state. Let's get started and see how we can solve this particular case state. So first, let's try to understand. Donald, Barack, George, Bill, Ronald and Jimmy are six bright students at particular school. Further their writing, recently they appeared for final exam for 10th standard. An exam tested students on six subjects English, Marathi, Mathematics, History, Economics, and Physics. Further, they are saying the question paper on each subject was out of 100 marks. So, they should be getting maximum 100 marks in each paper. And it is known that marks scored by students in each subjects can be only one integer out of the following. So, we understood. These are the six integers are given to us. So people involved in this particular test will be scoring marks out of these integers. Further, they are giving all percentages shown in the graph are rounded off to nearest two decimal numbers. So they are not exact numbers. If we have to convert the number into fractions and solve these questions, because I told you very clearly while taking class of percentages, whenever you see anything related to percentage, Try to convert into fractions and then solve these questions. This one is the fastest and most efficient manner of approaching these questions. So graph is given to us in this graph. They're talking about uh, marks scored by Donald in English, Marathi, Mathematics, History, Economics and Physics in terms of percentage of his marks. And they had uh, given you idea about that. If Donald score is 100 out of 100, 11.11 is coming from English. 17.78 is coming from Marathi, 20% from Mathematics, 17.78 from History, 20% from Economics and 13.33% is from Physics. So this data is given to us. Over this we are having four questions. Questions are not very important until you understand the data and convert data in your comfort zone. What is the important point is here we have to use only these integers to answer the questions. So let's get started and see how we can put the given data to make sure that we get everything from the given case slate. Now marks I wrote here, marks can only be 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 and 90. Here. So let's see here how we can decode this number even though few percentages are not very common to us but we will not use them, we will use only those percentages which are common to us. So here we can see 11.11 percentage and 20 percentage are two percentage which are very common to us. So if you look at marks scored by Donald in English, Mathematics and Economics are 11.11 percentage which is 1 by 9, 20 percentage which is 1 by 5 and 20 percent economy which is 1 by 5. If we assume Donald scored D marks total, out of D marks we know in English his score is 1 by 9 of D and uh, in mathematics or economics his score is 1 by 5 of D and as we know marks are an integer it means 1 by 9 of D and 1 by 5 of D should be an integer it means D has to be multiple of 9 and 5 so what is the smallest possible multiple of 9 and 5 is 9 into 5 which is 45 so we can say marks of Donald will be multiple of 45 here and once you get this you replace these marks here in the place of 1 by 5 into D we can write down 1 by 5 of 45 K which will be equal to 9 K so we can conclude from here marks scored by Donald in mathematics will be multiple of 9 and we know only these marks are possible here then out of these marks which one is multiple of 9? So only one is multiple of 9 and that one is 90. So we got to know from here, mark scored by Donald 
in mathematics will be 90. So in the place of mathematics, we can write down 90 here and we know the score in mathematics and economics is same. So this we can also write down 90. After fixing this, you can fix this number also very easily. But let's figure out total marks also. Now we understood 1 by 5 of total is equal to 90 here. So total we can say be equal to 450. So this one should be 450 here. And once you got 450 here, you can fix marks scored by Donald in English, which is nothing but 1 by 9 of total. So this comes out to be 50 here. If we move in same manner, we can say Barak scored 14.29, 20% is and 14.29 in Marathi, History and Physics respectively. So if I say Barak's score is B, out of B, 14.28 percentage in Marathi and 14.28 percentage is 1 by 7. So 1 by 7 of B will be in Marathi and in history we can write down 1 by 5 of B will be in history. And now we know these numbers has to be integer. It means B has to be multiple of 7 and 5 and minimum possible multiple of 7 and 5 is 35. So marks should be in the format of 35K. And as soon as I will put here 35 in the place of B, we can get marks in history and history marks will be equal to 7K. So we can say from here, marks scored by Barak in history will be multiple of 7 and out of the given numbers, there are only one number multiple of 7, which is 70. So 70 we can fix in the place of history. So this has to be 70. Here. Once you got 70 here, you understood 1 by 5 of total is equal to 70. So total should be equal to 350. Here. So here we can fix this should be 350. Here. Now 14.29 which is uh, 1 by 7. So 1 by 7 of total in Marathi. So 1 by 7 of 350 is 50. Here. So 50 marks in Marathi. And finally we can say 50 marks will be in physics. So this has to be 50. Now we have done with Barak. Let's move towards George here. George is scored 25 percentage marks in English. So 25 percentage is uh, 1 by 4 of total marks of George. And uh, George is scored 11.11 percentage in history. So history will be equal to 1 by 9 of total marks. And these numbers should be an integer. So G should be multiple of 9 and 4. What is the multiple of 9 and 4? 36. So we can say G should be equal to 36K now. So when G is equal to 36K, we can put G here. This has to be 36K from here. Once you got 36K, we can see this is equal to 9K. So marks scored by George in English will be multiple of 9. So there is only one number which is multiple of 9 here and that number is 90 here. So George scored 90 marks in English. So let's put 90 here. And once you got this is equal to 90, we can fix 36k is equal to 90 here. So one fourth of total is equal to 90. So total we can decode from here 360. So total marks scored by George will be 360 here. And once you got 360, we have to do 11.11 percentage of 360, which is 1 by 9. So 1 by 9 of 360 comes out to be 40. So 40 marks George scored in history. So this has to be 40 here. And similarly, we can say George scored 16.67 percentage marks in economics, which is 1 by 6 of total. So 1 by 6 of total comes out to be 60 here. Now further, let's move and fix Bill, Ronald and Jimmy also. So if I say Bill scored B marks in total, then he scored in Marathi is 11.11 percent, which is 1 by 9 of Bill's marks and 16.67 in physics, which is 1 by 6 of Bill's marks. So Bill's marks should be multiple of 6 and 9 and multiple of 6 and 9 is 18. So this number should be multiple of 18 here. Now in the place of B, if we put 18K, so 1 by 6 of 18K is equal to 3K. It means marks scored by Bill in physics should be multiple of 3. So there are two multiples of 3, 60 and 90. But if you see Bill's score, 
is 16.66 percent is here and 22.22 percent is here it means he cannot score maximum possible marks in physics so we can conclude from your mark scored by bill in this particular section which is physics one will be 60 here so physics we can say should be equal to 60 for bill and once you get bill's physics score is 60 we can say 1 by 6 of total is equal to 60 so total we can say from here will be equal to 360 from here once we get 360 here we know 11.11 in mathematics 11.11 in marathi so 11.11 is 1 by 9 so 1 by 9 1 by 9 we can say it is equal to 40 and 40 and this is 22.22 which is 2 by 9 so this we can say will be equal to 80 here if i say total score of ronald is r in history ronald score is 20 percent so 20 percentage of r is a 1 by 5 of r and the physics is 12.5 which is a 1 by 8 of r this number has to be integer as we know scores in uh, history and physics are an integer so 1 by 5 r should be an integer and 1 by 8 of r should be an integer it means r should be multiple of 8 and 5 and multiple of 8 and 5 is 40 year so this has to be multiple of 40 in the place of r if i put 40 year this is equal to 8k so mark scored by ronald in history will be multiple of 8 and there are two multiples of 8 40 and 80 out of this if you see maximum score of ronald is in history so 40 is not possible here because there are subjects in which he is scoring less than 20 percent so this number should be equal to 80 year so we can fix here his marks in history and economics should be 80 80. now we understood he scored 80 marks in history so 1 by 5 of total which is equal to 80 which he scored in history so total marks will be equal to 400 so we can say this will be equal to 400 now 12.5 percentage of total which is 1 by 8 of total so 1 by 8 of 40 we can say will be equal to your 50 now we left with jimmy if i said total score of jimmy is j total score of jimmy in english is 20 percent which is uh, 1 by 5 of Jimmy's score and 14.28% uh, in mathematics which is uh, 1 by 7 of Jimmy's score. So multiple of 7 and 5 is 35. So marks of Jimmy should be multiple of 35k. Now if we put this value of 35k, we can get the marks in English which is equal to 7k so marks in english should be multiple of 7 and there are only one number which is multiple of 7 and that is 70 so english marks we got here should be equal to 70 for jimmy here and once you did so we can use our previous method 1 by 5 of total is equal to 70 so total we can say 350 here so this is equal to 350 finally and once you got 350 here 1 by 7 he got in mathematics so 1 by 7 is 50 year so 50 he got in mathematics and marks in english and physics are same so we can say he got 70 in physics here now this table is almost filled now we have to look for the data which is left out here and we can do approximation to fill the given data here now if you see donald here donald is scored 17.78 percent in marks in marathi so 17.7 percent is approximately of 450 is equal to 80 so we can write down 80 here and if we see history here, history we can say 17.78, so this also be 80 here. And further if you see Barak here, we left with Barak's score in uh, English. So 17.14% of 350 is approximately 60, so we can put 60 here. And further if you see mathematics score is 22.86. If we do 22.86 of 350, it is approximately 80, so 80 we can fix here. Economics, if you see here, economics, we can say for Barak, score is 11.43% and 11.43% of 350 will be equal to around 40. So 40 we can fix here. And further, physics is left out here in Donald. So physics score in Donald is 13.33. So 13.33% 13 of 450 is around 60. So we can fix this number is 60 here. Further, if you see George here, George score is 19.44 percentage of 360 so approximately 20 we can take 
So 19.44 percentage of 360 is approximately 70 year. So we can put 70 year. 13.89 percentage of 360 is approximately 50 year. So this has to be 50 year. And finally, we left for physics here, which is 13.89, which is 50. We calculated previously, so we can put 50 here also. Now, if you look for bill, we left with only 19.44 percentage here. So 19.44 percentage of 360 is equal to approximately 70. You can take 20 percentage also. So if I take 20 percentage of 360, it is around 72. But 72 we cannot have because numbers are possible out of these six numbers. But what number is less than 72, which is here, is 70 here. So we can fix these numbers 70 and 70 here. Now if you look at Ronald here, 15 percent, 15 percent and 17.5 percent. 15 percentage of 400 is easy to find out, direct number you get here and that number is 60 here. So this is 60 and this is 60 and 17.5 is slightly more than 60. So we can say this number has to be 70 here. So we can fix 70 this. Finally, we left with Jimmy here. So Jimmy is score in Marathi is 17.14. So 17.14 of 350 is approximately 60 here and his score in history if we see is 11.43 and 11.43 of 350 is 40 so this has to be 40 here and finally we can say 17.14 we calculated here 60 so this has to be 60 here now table is done addition of english is 410 addition of marathi is 370 addition of mathematics is 370 addition of history is 380 addition of uh, economics is 400 and addition of physics is 340. So we have done with this whole table. Now when you have done with the whole table, solving the question will not take huge amount of time. So first question is, who is scored highest total marks in these six subjects combined? So we know highest marks scored by Donald and which is equal to 450. Look at the second question now, in how many subjects out of six did no student out of the given six score 90 marks? So 90 you see here, so English is possible case. 90 you see here, so mathematics is possible case and 90 you see here, economics is possible case. So Marathi, history and physics are not possible case. So answer has to be more than two. Question number three, if you see which of the following was not total score of any given six friends, only 420 is not possible. So correct answer has to be 420 here. Final question, in which subject was some of the mark scored by six students taken together least. So least score we are getting only in physics. So correct answer has to be physics here. So you can see how easily we can solve all six questions once you understand data which is given to us in percentage form. So I hope we are adding some value for your preparation because these questions are pretty common in paper and in concepts classes we have discussed these questions multiple times. Thank you so much guys here and God bless you.